Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here. Tonight is going to be the night of wrestling. I had a horrible day at work, but I'm home now, and tonight is going to be brought to you by none other than Malibu. A good friend of the Stevie Breach channel here will be uh, kicking back. Who knows what kind of wrestling we're going to be watching tonight, but we're going to be watching a shit ton. I thought tonight I would catch up on my WWE Network reviews. Uh, last night, I watched a pay-per-view. Uh, in Your House, number one. I mainly watched this just because I was thinking about that damn house. I want to see the house from In Your House, because that is the reason why I wanted this. I want to see that house on, on some sort of a pay-per-view someday. Um, so just basically to see the house, I watched this. Uh, in Your House was an awesome concept. Uh, basically, it was a Sunday pay-per-view. It wasn't a Survivor Series. It wasn't a WrestleMania. Um, it wasn't your top-notch card. It was a little bit better than Raw. Looking back on this and watching this, it felt like watching Raw. But basically, as a kid, in 1995, when this show came on, um, it was a cheaper pay-per-view. I believe it was only a $25 one. It was a little bit easier. You know, you bugged your dad all day on a Sunday about, you know, the show's coming on, you want to get it. Dad thinks about it, 20 bucks, the kid's going to shut up. I got to watch a few of these back in my day, long story short. Um, but basically, I'm um, looking back and watching, you know, In Your House, number one. Besides for the the great match, uh, Hukushi versus Bret Hart, honestly, it feels like watching a, uh, a pay-per-view. I'm sorry, not a pay-per-view. It feels like watching a Monday Night Raw from the 1995 time period. Uh, a little bit better matches, stacks all the way through, but nothing really happens that really means anything. In Your House 1 falls right after WrestleMania 11, but right before King of the Ring 1995. Um... One thing that, that you know really shows forth, you know, that, that coming was the push of Mabel and the King of the Ring uh, that he would win uh, in the next month, uh, which led to him, you know, main eventing Survivor. No, I'm sorry, main eventing SummerSlam in a mega fail of uh, one of the worst SummerSlams of all time. In the main event, we saw your champion Diesel go up against Psycho Sid. Uh, basically, you know, typical big man match. Nothing really that spectacular here. Uh, Diesel won by disqualification when he was going to hit uh, uh, Psycho Sid uh, with the uh, jackknife powerbomb. Uh, Tatanka and Ted DiBiase uh, ran out there and they put the boots to Diesel. Basically, this was a DQ. Crappy finish in a, in a match, but you only paid 20 bucks for it. You didn't feel that bad. It made you want to come back and it made you want to buy uh, the next pay-per-view, which would be the King of the Ring. I believe uh, Psycho Sid got the uh, rematch, if I'm not 100% sure. Um, but uh, it was it was fun seeing Tatanka out there as the heel. I always sort of forget about him in that role. I wish that uh, I wish I saw more of Tatanka. It was rumored that he was going to show up at that WrestleFest show. And uh, oh wow, the main event of the King of the Ring uh, after the next match was uh, Diesel and Bam Bam Bigelow against Tatanka and uh, Psycho Sid in a tag match. There wasn't even a title match on that show. Ugh. Sorry, guys. That sucks. But, um, it is what it is. I'm not saying to go out of your way to watch this show. It wasn't even that great. It was good. It's better than watching a Monday Night Raw from 1995. Uh, but, uh, that's the review. Everybody enjoy it. Peace out.